When someone with CF has a disease flare-up in his or her lungs, there is usually significant damage associated with that exacerbation. Over a lifetime, these flare-ups lead to decreasing lung function. Hi, I'm Rob Quinn, a microbiologist working in Forest Rowers Lab at San Diego State University. In our CF lab, we are working on a research project partially funded by CFRI that will help us better predict when an exacerbation will occur and find new ways to fight CF infections. This means new treatments that are applied earlier before significant damage occurs. How will we do this? Our unique approach and techniques, initially developed for studying environmental microbes, such as those on coral reefs, is now being applied to examine all the microbes or microscopic organisms in the CF lung, which represent its microbial community. We believe the interactions within the microbial community are responsible for developing some exacerbations. With sophisticated DNA sequencing and chemical analysis methods, we are discovering which genes and molecules each microbe uses to grow and persist in the CF lung. Once we understand how the microbes survive and what they eat and produce, we'll then look at changes in these processes. These changes are key in that they may signal when an exacerbation is about to occur. With this new information, we will notify physicians to start therapies prior to the exacerbations occurring, heading off damage to the lungs of their patients. Along with early warning, understanding these microbial processes may help us find new treatments to kill or slow down dangerous microbes. Counterintuitively, many of the microbes in the CF lung live in the mucus plugs which can be anaerobic or without oxygen. What will happen if oxygen is reintroduced to those areas? We're testing new therapies, like pressurized oxygen, that could be used in conjunction with current antibiotic treatments to help eliminate damaging microbes. Alternative treatments against these microbes could reduce the excessive requirement for antibiotic treatment and the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. CFRI Fundamentals is produced to enhance your understanding of the research your CFRI dollars are funding. Look for future updates of our research findings on the CFRI website.